Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. In today's episode, I am bringing you episode 2 of the new series, Grapeseed Talks Archives. Recently, the Grapeseed Japan team has been holding weekly calls with interested teachers over a variety of topics, from teaching upper units to classroom management to simply how teachers set up their classrooms. One of the unique aspects of these calls is that while the coaches in Japan facilitate the talks, teachers sharing their ideas is the main focus. I've had the opportunity to listen to just about all of them at this point, and I was struck by how much good content was on these recordings. So much so that I wanted to highlight some of the best clips from them on the podcast so that everyone can listen internationally. For this episode, I have some clips from a discussion on everyone's favorite topic, classroom management. The first clip is a revelation a teacher had about classroom management with his smaller class, although the same principle applies to larger classes as well. The second clip is a longer discussion on strategies for when students purposely give silly answers to questions and you want them to stop. There are lots of friends of the show on this one, from Miklos to Aaron to Sydney. Enjoy! Yeah, that's something that comes to my mind a lot with classroom management. Even though I work with a lot of smaller classes at my little language school, there's always that concern about focus and engagement with students. And a lot of times it feels like because I'm working with a smaller class, I can afford just a little bit extra time and effort to get to know what each student is most interested in Hmm. and try to use that to kind of encourage their engagement. Because a lot of times in my experiences, well, whatever that amounts to, is that a lot of times if students are engaged and they're focused on what everybody in the classroom is doing, then they're not looking around, they're not running in circles, they're not making a mess or whatever else. Mm. They're not causing problems if they're focused on everything else. And there are some days where that's going to be a little harder than others and because every class and every student is going to be different. But in, in my case, since I have smaller classes, I feel like I have a little bit of leeway in at least using their focus to help with uh, classroom management. There, well, you mentioned this specific example of saying, hey, guys, how are you today? And then kids go, I'm angry. <laughs> like, because they just think it's funny to say I'm angry. And it is funny when you're six years old. When students, when you say things like, hey, how are you today? Uh, and, and kids joke, just they kind of mess around like, does it, this is for everybody too, not just for Joel, but uh, like, does it, I don't know, does it affect you? <laughs> like, do you, do you just think to yourself like, come on, you guys, just, just say a real answer. Like, cause the, there is that part, there's the, there's the part where the kids should try, you know, like they're kids and they want to be silly and they want to get attention and that's fine. There's the, there's a balance of course, with being nice and, and, you know, following what the teacher says and what the teacher wants. But um, but if kids are being silly, whether it's what they, they want attention or they just want to have fun or they had a hard day at school and they're letting off, they're blowing off steam or whatever it is, like the way that you react to that, to their silliness and their craving for attention can make or break your classroom management. How do I deal with a situation so that I don't like... I don't mess up the vibe of the class right here at the beginning. Like, okay, you guys are angry. Okay, hardy, hardy, hard, or something like that, or um, uh, or just or to play play into their silliness and go, oh, you're angry. Oh my goodness, what happened? Why are you angry? And remember that the reason that we're here is for comprehensible input and for laughing and for silliness. But of course, we're also learning how to be nice and how to be respectful, and you know. John, Johnny Bear is the nice bear. He's teaching us how to be nice. He just happens to speak English. Does anybody have any thoughts on that? How how do you deal with those kinds of challenges when kids are being a little too silly and being a little bit too attention grabbing? Well, so actually for me, what I struggle with in terms of that is, and I think this is just kind of my personality, I struggle with being too lenient with that sort of thing because I do so want them to be engaged that I think sometimes I play too much into it and then it's not really effective. So that's something that I think I really struggle with in terms of that. Too lenient. Do you have any specific examples of when you were too lenient and then it just just kind of didn't work? 
Well, for example, with the, you know, I'm angry, that's all you're going to get at the end of the day when you play into it. So, you know, kind of diverting that for me is hard because I do want them to, you know, get the attention that they want so that they will continue to try. But I also want them to try in a real way. So that's, yeah, right. Like maybe I'm too lenient sometimes too, or I, and then I, and then I, I instantly regret it. Like, uh, I'm just like, oh man, if I was like, um, if my, if I, if I exerted a little more strictness sometimes, then my students would respect my authority more and they wouldn't pull those kinds of hijinks. But I like the hijinks because secretly like, no, like when, when, when kids, you know, make an underwear joke or something like that, like as a teacher, I'm supposed to be like, mm. but inside I'm laughing hysterically because underwear is funny, but like uh, you have to kind of balance that out. So Sometimes I'll, uh, I will also be too lenient. Well, so there's times, there's a way to, there's a way to go about it, right? When kids go, when they go, I'm angry. I've have seen, I've been that teacher and I've seen the teacher who, well, maybe takes it personally, maybe reacts in a way that's not necessarily if I like, Hey, you guys, come on, seriously, sit down. Let's try this again. Come on. Okay. How are you today? <laughs> like I can laugh at that now because like I lived through it. Goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.